y'all and welcome to today's video i have some new makeup to test out some things i've been testing for a little while and i also kind of shopped my stash pulled in some of my sephora favorites i know the sephora sale the sephora fall savings event is coming up soon so i thought Maybe we would just use some Sephora favorites, try this new stuff, get ready together, play with makeup, have a good time. You know how it goes. So if that sounds good to you, let's jump into it. Before we start with makeup, I thought I would tell you how I prepped my skin. I am having on my lips my Lawless sweet dream forget the filler overnight lip plumping mask i have that on my lips i love prepping my lips before i do my makeup with a lip mask something like that a lip oil something and i love that one from lawless i also have on my glow recipe pomegranate peptide firming serum so i've been testing this since it launched and i'm really really enjoying it and then i uh, went over my face a few times actually <laughs> with my glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist to kind of hydrate my skin and get it ready for makeup so I'm going to zoom y'all in and we will start with the makeup I just wanted to kind of tell you like the skincare I had on first okay I'm gonna start with my glow recipe strawberry BHA pour smooth blur drops I really like this as a primer I have been enjoying this one so so much i think it does a great job at kind of mattifying and blurring the skin it leaves it like smooth for makeup i really really am happy that glow recipe decided to like dip into maybe not makeup but like primers because i think their skincare is so nice and i would love to see them kind of try out even more primers in the future you know this one is like for blurring and smoothing and it kind of mattifies things but it has some skincare in there so i think if they were to come out with one for like dry skin that would be really cool too i love my niacinamide dew drops to prep for makeup as well but i use those as skincare and then i go in with a primer so i definitely would not mind seeing like their line like expanding because they're definitely a favorite brand for me okay so I bought this rose ink foundation when it launched and I like it okay I haven't like fallen in love with it yet so I wanted to keep testing it and I thought we would just keep testing it together I definitely have a shade that's too light for me but the warm olive undertone I do like so I'm in shade 16w this is a medium warm olive and I just wish it was like a little bit deeper for me but it is a beautiful medium coverage so I thought I would try it again today I would use it with the blur drops because I know I love those and then we will try to like bronze and see if we can get it somewhere that I like. I'm just not quite ready to review this one yet. So like I said, today we're gonna use some new things mixed with my old favorites. Cause doesn't that look like a nice medium coverage? Like. I feel like you can still see some imperfections it doesn't look matte but it doesn't look glowy to me it just looks very skin like so I really want to see like if I can get it to a place today where I'm loving it and I think if I can bronze up my skin right all of that I'll have a better sense of how I'm feeling about this one but side to side my face is definitely lighter than the rest of me because I am using tetranoin every single night which I love but it does mean that my face is 
lighter. It's lighter and I am always keeping my face out of the sun. I definitely do a much better job with my face than I do with the rest of me. But yeah, here's what the foundation looks like. This is a newer foundation, so. Yeah, I'm still getting my thoughts together on this one. All right, if I could recommend two concealers for this for sale, it would have to be the Huda Beauty Faux Filter or the Natasha Denona Hygiene High Glam. I love, love. And this concealer is too dark for this foundation. Good for me, too dark for the foundation. So I'm gonna just even it out on the other side and I'm going to go grab the lighter shade. I love this concealer so much and the Natasha Dona. I have it in my shade and I have it in the brightening shade. See what I mean about the foundation being too light? <laughs> we'll fix it though. I'm gonna add a little bit of a lighter concealer and then we'll, then we'll bronze. <clears throat> okay, so I got the lighter shade, 4.5. Let's do this instead. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's that's more like right for this foundation. So I'm going to let that set for a couple of minutes to warm up on my skin. I feel like it blends better. It gives me better coverage when I just let it set for a minute and then I will press it in with my sponge. Okay, so I realized I forgot to hit record. Sorry, rookie mistake, y'all. But I just blended in the concealer and I bought the LYS bronzer stick, the No Limits bronzer stick. I've only used it a couple of times, but let me tell you, it is pigmented. So this is what we're starting with, okay? Because the first time I used it, I put, like, I just went in thinking cream bronzer, what I normally do, and it was like foundation. And then the second time I used it, I tried to use less and it was still too much. So we're starting with this. I'm letting it warm up on my skin. And we're going to press it in. I, I want it to be bronzer. Like I want it to bronze my skin. I'm not looking for like precise placement like a contour, you know, I'm wanting it to be more of a bronzer. So I'm just going to press and I don't have my thoughts on this one yet. I do feel like <laughs> it kind of lifted my foundation right here and then I feel like it's looking a little too much right there. So I'm just going to let that set for a minute and then I'm going to press it in. So far though, from the few times I've used it, I think the formula has been nice. It's just extremely pigmented. So I'm trying to figure out if I just need to use a little, can I get it to blend and like look how I want it? Or is it so pigmented that it's gonna be like unworkable for me? Because usually for bronzers, I want some pigment, but I would prefer it to be buildable. I know this is a favorite for so many people, so many people, and it was sold out online. So when I went in store and they had it, I'm like, okay, let me buy it. Let me see if the hype is real. So I've given it a second to kind of warm up and I'm just pressing it in. It's just like lifting my foundation right there. Like there's definitely a patchiness right here. Can you see like there's a little bit of redness? So I don't know if I love, I just don't know. Like it's not an easy effortless cream bronzer for me. And I want to love it because so many people love it. So let me try it over here and we'll try it with a sponge. I've, I've been, like the past couple times I've used it, I've used it with a brush, but I do see like that it lifted my foundation just a tiny bit. I know like it probably wouldn't bother most people, but I see, like, you know, we always look at ourselves 
like closer than other people look at us. We're always more harsh with ourselves than others are. So I'm, I'm sure I'm like, it's not perfect. <laughs> so we'll try it with this sponge over here. I'm gonna give it a little, a little like bouncy motion and we'll see if maybe the sponge is better than the brush. Yeah. I think the sponge is probably the way to go. Because that looks so much better, right? Let me see if I can bounce with my sponge over here. Oh, yeah. That definitely kind of removed some of the excess product and made it look way better. Okay, were any of y'all shouting at me like, Heather, use a sponge. Heather, use a sponge. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna put a little on my forehead, blend that in, and then we're gonna play with the new blush palette because I bought the Patrick Ta Major Holiday Face Palette. Listen, do I need this? In a sense, yes. In another truer sense, yes. <laughs> no, I did not need this, but I love Patrick Ta. The blush duo I have, I bought the one, the, the pink one that he came out with recently, She's Giving. So when I saw that the holiday palette was going to be two new blushes and they were going to be pink and we were going to have these like sparkly eye topper things, I thought, sign me up. And this like legally blonde packaging, like is this not legally blonde? I'm into it. Okay. We're going to use that. We're going to use the creams. We're going to use the powders. So let me like bronze up my forehead I'll press it in and then we will blush okay let's do it let's do both of the cream blushes so I've had this palette for two and a half weeks ish I've used it a ton in that time and I've really enjoyed it. Like, I think this is the formula that I know from Patrick Ta. I don't think he cut any corners with this one. And I love a pink blush. So I'm going to blush up. Okay, so I've got my primer, foundation, concealer, cream bronzer, cream blush on. <laughs> Skincare. We've already got a lot. Let's set with powder. I am using my one size powder. I love this one size powder so much. I'm actually using the shade Sweet Honey. I used to use their translucent shade and I still have it. I love it. But when they launched Sweet Honey along with their pink shade, I was like, thank you. So many brands launched pink powder and I get it. Like, that's fabulous. I tried some. I knew that pink powders weren't gonna be like the best look or my personal favorite look on my warm olive skin tone. But I, I had fun, like listen, I'll, I'll jump on a makeup trend, I'll try. Remember, trends are there for like to have fun. Try it, don't try it, doesn't matter. Just approach it like you wanna have fun with it if you do wanna try it. But I'm so happy that One Size also launched this more honey shade so that I didn't feel left out. <laughs> when they launched the pink powder, they had the honey shade too. So I'm like, yes, my favorite brand is launching a new shade and a powder that I can use. So I love this new shade, but I have loved the powder for so long. One size, listen, they really make some good products. So I'm just kind of setting like my concealer areas with this powder. And then I think I'm going to go and set the rest of my face with my one size pressed powder. Um, turn up the base. Yes, I'm gonna like just take a large fluffy brush and kind of buff in to set the rest of my face. Once I have this kind of pressed into my skin, oh, it just sets everything down so beautifully. Oh, I'm having a little bit of dry skin right there. I don't know. Like, I think that my, my face is looking good. I, I 
listen, I just think I have other foundations besides that rose ink that I like better, you know, like, it's not a favorite so far, but this powder, the primer, the blush, those are favorites. But let me finish setting my face. Let me buff in that one size powder. Let me fill in my brows and we'll finish up the rest of our makeup together. I will use my Urban Decay Brow Blade. I will use my Milk Brow Laminate. And then I will come back. I will link it all down below. It will all be Sephora stuff. All right, let's play with the Natasha Denona Mini Trio Chrome Palette. I'm excited. I'm excited. I bought this and I'm ready to play with it. I love Natasha Denona's Trio Chrome Palette. One of my favorites she has ever done. So when I saw we were getting a blue mini, yes, 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 yes. Yes, I'm ready. We are going to do a blue, blue, blue eye look. We have a trio chrome in here. I have five shades, so we're going to attempt to use all the shades. We will see. So let me grab a brush, and we will start with this deep, dark blue right here in the center. Okay, I'm going to start by putting this right out here, kind of on the lid up like this just keeping the darkness right out here and then I want to go in with another matte on the other the other portion of my eye like right in here I just really want to kind of press the shadow right on top of my primer and then kind of blend. I don't know if I said at the beginning of the video, but all of the products that I'm using, I did purchase myself. Just FYI, in case you were kind of wondering. Okay, I'm taking the lightest matte blue and I'm putting that right in the socket in the front part of my lid now. So I'm just going to buff it like that. Once I have it packed on, I'm going to buff and then I'm going to blend a little bit like this back and forth to kind of make that deeper blue fade into this lighter blue shade. This is really pretty. Listen, I love Natasha Denona. I love her shadows. Don't ask me to compare them to other things because I do feel like she has very beautiful, unique formulas that just work so well. They perform so well. So when I saw she was doing a mini blue palette, I'm like, take my money. There's something about a blue eyeshadow that just puts me in a good mood. Is it 6 a.m.? Yes. Am I still happy? Yes, because I have blue shadow on. <laughs> Let's do the royal blue now. This one right here. And we'll put this on our lower lash line. Like so. We'll see how that goes. Like this. Listen, I love Natasha Denona so much. If I could change, though, now that I've got these on the eyes, I feel like buffed out. These and these should be a little more different. A little differenter. <laughs> like, this maybe should be a couple of shades darker. Because I don't think... For a five pan, okay, for a five pan that there's enough of a difference. For me, I'm happy with it, but I would like it more if there was a little more of a difference in those two. The deeper blue should be deeper, in my opinion. 
Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Milk Makeup Eyeliner. This is the blue, the shade Time. And we're just gonna put this in the waterline. We're gonna go blue, blue, blue. Okay, I want to go in with the Trio Chrome. This one right here. It looks like a purple, blue, teal type of shifty multi-chrome. So I'm gonna pick it up with my brush. I'm gonna spray my brush with a little setting spray. I'm going to use my All Nighter Urban Decay Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water. This, this might be the only makeup product that I didn't purchase. This was gifted to me. And the brushes, but they're not Sephora. They're What's Up Beauty. I think this will be the only thing I'm using that I did not purchase myself. Because even the Milk Brow... They have sent me one in the past, but I am now using a repurchase because I used it and I loved it, so I bought it again myself. Yes. And the Lawless Lip Mask. That's it. I want to make sure I tell y'all everything. So I'm going to spray my brush and I'm going to put this on the lid. All right. Let's put our Trio Chrome on. Oh, yeah. Ooh. When I'm looking down into my mirror, I can see the purple. I don't know. Yeah, you could see a little bit. When I look down into my mirror, I can see the purple. And then when I look up at y'all, I see the blue. All right, that's pretty. That's very pretty. I'm just going to blend, blend, blend now. And this is a perfect time for me to remind you. Or maybe you're new here and you've never heard me say it. My videos are never here to encourage you to spend your money if you do not want to. My videos are here so that we can hang out together. If you're interested in these products, maybe I can tell you my thoughts on them. We can have a good time together. I love reviewing products. I love doing my makeup. But if you are on a low buy or no buy and you're like, I don't want that, wonderful so happy for you thank you for hanging out with me i'm just having fun sharing my thoughts and opinions and i am really liking my blue look all right now i'm gonna take that other shimmer that kind of baby blue silver we're gonna pop that right there on the inner corner i'm gonna put a little bit of black on my upper lash line and then i'm going to test a new mascara but honestly, I never, I shouldn't say never, because never, never. I rarely like mascaras the first time I use them. I like them to be like a week old. And then I feel like I can really get the sense when they dry out a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm going to try this. Smashbox sent me a mascara. So I'm going to try this. And um, I'll, I'll put it in a like speed review video in the future because... First impressions of mascaras, like they just never go well. They never go well. And I will also pop on a lash and then I will come back because I want, I do want to add on like a little powder bronzer to set. I want to put on the powder Patrick Ta. I want to use a new highlighter, use a new lip gloss. Like listen, I bought some stuff. I want to use it. Okay, I threw on some black liquid liner, one that I bought from Urban Decay, and my Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. I have bought so many pairs of Lily Lashes over the past few years. I love them. They're worth every penny to me. I want to go on with a little powder bronzer. I love my Fenty bronzer. I've been using it so much, but... I was like, let me shop my stash and pull out my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer because I love this one and I haven't used it in a while. So let me grab a little brush. And I don't need a lot of bronzer like that LYS. It's making me bronzed. So I just kind of want to go on a little bit on top to kind of set everything in place like so. Just a little, you know, not a lot. Just just a little bronze. I feel like the Patrick Ta, like the blush, you can still see it. Even when I went on top with powder, it's just a little toned down. But I want to go in primarily with this powder shade 
and just a little tiny bit of this deeper pink. I kind of mix the creams equally, but for the powders, I'm gonna wipe off my brush and we're gonna do mostly the light pink. Okay, let's blush up. I really like Patrick Ta blushes. I think they're really nice, easy to blend, and they have pigment. So I don't think you have to build them a ton. If you have like a desire for a really blushed look, you can definitely get that, but they're also very easy to blend. Okay, let's put one of these toppers on our eyes. Why not? I'm not gonna spray them or anything. And let's do like a little bit of the white topper. There's a nice mirror in here, so I'll use that. I'm just gonna pick it up on a fluffy brush, kind of dry. And I'm just going to tap this on kind of all over, honestly. Like I'm just gonna let it be a true topper shade. That's kind of fun. Oh, I like. That's that's fun. I'm just going to pop it on like that. And then because I want it to be like dispersed, I'll wipe away any fallout off of my lash and off of my face when I'm done. I bought the new Glow Seeker Highlighter Illuminator from ABH in Sun Idol. I would love for this to be like a replacement for the Omrezy highlighter because I have and love that one. Is it old? Yes. Am I throwing it away? Absolutely not because nobody tells me what to do. Nobody tells me what to do. Even the expiration date on the package doesn't tell me what to do. This is pretty. I didn't realize the compact was this pretty. I haven't even taken it out of the box. If it's shattered, I'll cry, but like, oh, I like, okay, let's look. Oh, it's not shattered, it's pristine. Okay, let's, let's take the sticker off. Is it like, oh, that's really nice. This is heavy, okay, ABH. Ooh. Okay, that melted into the skin, that melted into the skin. I have high hopes. I have high, high hopes. Okay, let me take my brush. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are you ready? I am ready. One, two, highlight. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, glowy skin. Aliens, you see me? I'm out of space. It's not a friendly time right now. Maybe you don't want to stop by this. Oh, I picked up way too much on my brush, but oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Okay, a little down the nose. Let me see. Let's go in with a little less maybe. There we go. Not as much. I doubted you. I doubted you, Glow Seeker. I should not have doubted you, and I should not have gone in with that much to start with because this is beautiful. Okay, let me kind of clean my brush on my Sigma Switch and kind of blend this in more because that's a little more intense than I would like. I want it to be more like over here. Oh, that is pretty. Shut the front door, shut the back door, shut the garage door because that is pretty oh that's pretty all right for lips i'm going to use a couple of old favorites i'm going to use my mario lip liner Ooh, i need to sharpen this this is in the shade toasty so I, let, let me sharpen this really quick because I, i'm not lining anything like this all right i like the mario lip liners i think they're really really nice so i'm just going to line and then we're gonna go in with the lipstick. I'm gonna use a favorite. We're gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury JK Magic. I will say, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are expensive, but I feel like I've got my money's worth out of that one for sure. All right, lipstick time. So we are doing kind of a light lip. I love this lip though. I love 
I have a gloss though. I bought the Patrick Ta, like this holiday gloss, the Major Holiday Plumping Gloss in Head Liner. I have one of the glosses from Patrick Ta and I really liked it. Sometimes plumping can be a turnoff to me because I don't like my lips to burn. I don't like to be in pain. And the Patrick Ta gloss felt a little cooling, nothing more. But it was very beautiful. So when I saw the hot pink packaging, when I saw the hot pink shade, I thought, take my money. <laughs> and they were actually sold out in store. So I went online and bought it up real quick. Okay, y'all, here is our finished look. I think all in all, it turned out really well. I, I think the only thing I don't love is that rose ink foundation. You know, like, it doesn't seem to play super well with others. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed this mix of, like, old favorites, testing new products, testing somewhat new products. I had a good time. I just like doing my makeup. I like hanging out with y'all. I hope you liked watching. I will put the info for the Sephora sale down below in the description box. If you ever choose to shop through my links or use my codes or anything like that, I truly do appreciate it. I am just so happy you're here watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye!